Okay, in today's video, I wanted to go over a quick little tutorial on how to enhance your images in a digital background and digital prop and how to get your cutouts a little bit cleaner and add a little more contrast to the pictures to make them look like they belong there. Now this image is just an example to show you one that we've created but what I wanted to do is show you one that one of our new photo biz owners created and they needed a little bit of help with enhancing it and that's what I wanted to do today. So this is their image right here with the same background and the same prop. Now let me just zoom in on the actual subject. Now there's a few things we need to talk about. First thing is, is the cutout is not as clean. Okay, it, you can see some of the remnants from the background and you can also see that the image is flat. It doesn't have a lot of contrast and um, there's a few things that we can do here to clean this up and make it look even better. And that's what I wanted to do. This is a great first attempt though. This was his very first attempt doing this after he went through our video tutorials. And I've got to say, it's, it's pretty uh, remarkable to be able to do this and instantly have your image uh, into a professional background and, and prop like this right here. So this is the image that he started with. There's a few things I want to talk about in this first. First thing is, is there's some shadows to deal with. Now, this is a common problem if you shoot directly at your subject with an onboard flash that's on the camera. Uh, easy way to correct this is either bounce the flash off the ceiling or a, a sidewall, or use an external flash to eliminate the shadows. But we're not going to go into that. But the other thing is, is the contrast is, is off a little bit and that's, it's washed out and that's because either the camera settings are off and they need tweaking, so experiment with different settings in your camera to get better contrast on your pictures. But I'm going to go ahead and cut this image out real quick, and I'm going to use the magnetic lasso tool, which is which is right here. I'll zoom in on that for you so you can see it. And then from there, I'm just going to go ahead and start to work my way around this image. I'm going to kind of move quick because I don't want to necessarily have this video be all about just cutting out. I want to actually get into how to enhance what we did. So I'm basically just working it around. If you've never used the magnetic lasso tool, takes a little bit of getting used to but once you do it's a piece of cake you can set points whenever you want and how I'm moving this I'm just holding my spacebar down and then I am, am going around the image uh, very slowly like this letting it detect the edges now when you get into an area like this it's tough it might not find the edge so then just click set a point click and just keep going you can click as many times as you want you can go back if you make a mistake like right there let's say I just hit delete and it really it eliminates that last point that I set so I'm just gonna keep working it around and like I said I'm gonna move along here now see that hit delete back up as you're hitting delete set a point and then just start to go around the head just like this And just keep going around and, and it's not a big deal right now if we're not hundred percent on the head and I'm going to show you why in a minute because we can adjust that before we actually make the selection now that's a little too much I'm gonna back that up right there and you'll see in a minute why we can correct that after the fact there's a lot of different tools to do what I'm doing right now this is an elements I wanted to show you it in elements because it's a very simple a product, this piece of software that pretty much anybody can acquire. It's under $100 and it works really well. It's really all the tools you would ever need if you're doing this type of work. Let me back that up a little bit. Set a point. Set a point. I'm just going to keep working it around. And you want to shoot your subject on a white background if, if your subject doesn't have white on. Now this is a little tricky because it's a light pink um, if you use the black background that would be fine but then sometimes you get an, a shadowing from the darker background uh, that's you know gonna basically bleed on the skin or the actual color of the shirt so now from here I'm not gonna go all the way through the bottom because we're not gonna use that part when we insert it into the digital background and digital prop we're just gonna work this around so we can connect the dots and you'll see why in a minute it's not that important and then from here probably not even going to see that so I'm not going to spend the time on that And that's the other thing you want to kind of keep in mind when you're doing this and you know what you're putting your subject in it'll make it easier because you won't do work that you're not going to need to do then click that it'll make an outline we call that the marching ants and then this is a little trick 
go to select go to modify and go to expand or contract contract will actually bring the line inside of where you just selected and expand will bring it on the outside of it so I go and hit contract I've got it at two pixels right now and then it'll set that line further inside okay so now the other thing is go to select and feather see what your feather set at this is at two sometimes one is plenty let's go with one and see how it turns out go to our oops go to our pointer tool hit layer new via copy and then if you look over here right here you can see that we've just created by turning this layer off we've just uh, made a cutout so now let's bring up this one again let's turn this subject off we're gonna slide this over drag this subject into this digital background and prop move it where we want it now you can see that cutout is already better you can see there's not a lot behind it now and the edge looks nice and and soft you can see it's nice and clean that's what we wanted right there so now we want to resize this so just click on it drag it to the size that you want now we left this here I'm not gonna go through cutting that off I was gonna leave the subject up that high I would probably cut that out but in this case we can just bring the subject down like that we're gonna go over here to this side and let me zoom in on this and we can actually adjust the subject so it's not leaning so much and that's really what I wanted to do there and then just go ahead and hit this right here this little check mark and then that'll confirm it we're almost there now what we want to do is we want to add a little contrast so you can go to enhance you can go to adjust lighting levels take this slider right here and start to bring it in right there we've already done so much to this picture to make it that much better with just a couple of steps go ahead and hit OK we're pretty much done hit layer flatten image OK and we're done if I pull that picture up you can see it's a lot cleaner it's got more contrast let me get rid of this here so we can see the whole image and appreciate it there is a great image that we started with a white background that was actually shot a little flat and it was also uh, the actual background had some wrinkles and you know the actual subject had some shadows because we had an onboard flash and we still were able to create an image like this that to me you could sell to your clients on a daily basis so that's it. That's going to wrap up this video. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I will talk to you later.